to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to tell a story, I okay. think, tonight. I think. Uh, and tonight we're going to tell Death's Messengers by the Brothers Grimm, written in 1840. In ancient times. Okay, so when is ancient times? When, whenever highways were created. There was a highway, okay, So and there was giants. For a giant and for people moving along <laughs> this highway, could it have just been this huge path of trumpled stone that the giants have walked down like between you know like it's his trail that became the highway for everyone else and this gi- he's a giant mm-hmm. and he's walking down this highway in ancient Boom, times a guy pops out in front of him who's this Ooh. guy i don't know but he's a little guy pops out like hold but- up hold up you know this is my highway <laughs> <laughs> and giant's like who do you think you are i could like squish you with my fingers uh i'm death what are you talking about? You do what I say. That's it. I'm death. You do what I say. So they start fighting. It, it, it's a wrestle between a giant and death. Yeah. Uh, so metaphorically, we could say that maybe this was like a deserted highway that the giant was walking down. And maybe uh, he was starving and he meets death. But he overcomes it because he's giant, you know. And he, death does not take him. Hmm. He got the upper hand and used that to yeah. beat the shit out of him. He <laughs> had a wicked backhand. <laughs> he, Boom! Knocked him down with his fist next to a stone. Yeah, he got stoned. Oh, yeah, that's all it was. The, the giant had a, had a gallbladder stone. He thought he was going to well, die. Well, maybe he was death with him. had a stone. And it was making him delirious from the sickness, and he's death, so he doesn't get used to being sick. And then the guy came and healed him, and he just never got sick again after that again, also. So, death is by the stone, and he's basically just defeated. He's like, I'm conquered. Uh, this I'm sucks. Just, I can't even move. What, what What's going to happen? I can't, like, kill anybody from here. Man, it's all going to be so overwhelmingly <laughs> overpopulated. Like <laughs> the giant hasn't left yet. He's still staring at him. Uh, no, I'm just, li- I'm just watching you li- figure out the- what you're going to do with the rest of your death. Because <laughs> it's death. The, the world's going to be overpopulated, uh, essentially. Can't, they're, nobody's going to be able to move if I can't get out of here. Death's in a corner by a rock, fainting. And there's a young boy walks down the road. Just the most happy, youthful looking around smiling at everything just like some that good trip on mushrooms when yeah. you're just wandering through the forest and everything just is so alive and everything and holy shit, that guy is dying over there in the corner <laughs> <laughs> and that is what he sees just this beat up He's, to a pulp and he goes to him and puts his flask to his lips and he i guess death has lips he nurses death back to health mm-hmm. um and waits for him to get, recover his strength. He's not, like, healthy or anything. By mm-hmm. He's just going to be by a giant. Yeah, he helps him put his lips back on. <laughs> God, Here, you need to drink off. this, but I need your cheeks together first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, Death asks him, do you know who just helped? Like, I'm... Do you? And boy, the young lad was like, uh, no, but I mean, you were... No, you were bleeding in yeah. the corner. I'm yeah. a nice guy. Yeah. Do I Do I care? Do I care? Well, I'm death. How about them apples? (laughs) And I don't make exceptions for anybody. Everybody goes. I will take everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I can't make an exception for you. But because you did put uh, some water to my lips, I will send messengers to you before I come for you. I will not fall on you unexpectedly. The youth was like, good. I would hate for you to come unannounced. Like a... (laughs) <laughs> so, that's what I mean, right? uh, uh, so the young man goes away cheerful and happy and uh, lives a carefree life knowing that death isn't going to f*** with him for a while uh, so death is resurrected now the youth uh, youth versus death youth prevails so after a while time has passed the, kid, the kid's getting older and with sorrows as, and sickness as we know good health doesn't always last long so he was sick and was tormented throughout the day and mm-hmm. uh deprived of rest at night so he didn't get much sleep and he got really sick he was yeah. really really sick he was dying i mean he was he's probably, an old man sleeping a lot 
you know, this, this pain. This was like ancient times, so there was, he was definitely diseased. Cataracts, and they couldn't fix it. Yeah. He just oh. saw cloudy and it was really bad. Uh, yeah. He had toothaches and all this kind of ringing ears and painful. He had a lot of going on. Yeah, um, but he wasn't too worried. Because, because he knew that death wasn't going to come He hadn't sent any messengers yet. No memos. No, no, not no a, text messages, no tweets. This was ancient times, so no scribes. Uh, came well, if forth. you write it with a bird, it's called tweeting, and they were all using feathers, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, they were tweeting in ancient times. I'm not going to die because death is supposed to send his messengers, but I would like to be well, every, not sick anymore because this is horrible. Um, it feels better. And then, he, and then after the sickness, I doubt, I bet you he was feeling good for like a week. Yeah. Whatever yeah. whatever length of time yeah. had to pass for him to get sick, he got sick. Now he's better uh, for maybe a couple days. Mm. And then... And, uh, it's death. Hey, buddy. Here to take you. What? what? Wait. Wait. What? You just... You're, you just... You get... You, Silence! Are you a liar? I'm death. Wait, you were supposed to send me messengers. You liar. Me? I did send you messages. I... Fogged your eyes over? Like, did you not see? <laughs> did how, you? I gave you sickness? I, your tooth? I mean, Aches? How, how many of those things did you lose along the way in this last little bit here? Well. He was, I mean, dizzy. Weren't you confused? <laughs> I made you, you doubt? <laughs> gout. Damn. You had some gout. Your ears were ringing. You got all blind. And didn't, didn't my brother sleep remind you uh, yeah. that I was probably going to come? He kept you as still as death, enduring your sickness. So you're pretty much just lying around dead. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So what I'm actually here to do, though, is take away all your sickness and sorrows. And you need you to accept your fate. Because oh, I, I really did send my messengers. And my messengers were painful. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, you should you have really, heeded my really warning. Looking at this... I really should have just told you. Yeah, I should. I should have really just had Carl come by. Yeah, but uh, I know. thought sleep. I mean, he told me he was being nuanced about it. You yeah. know, I didn't know he was just you know letting you sleep. <laughs> I thought. Yeah, I thought he was going to hint a little bit harder that yeah. you were going to die, but he didn't. He was like, "Yeah, I mean, that's a good point." So yeah, I, there's no argument mm -hmm. to that. I yeah. have no nothing else to. You're oh, you're right. right. Those stuck. You would. You did warn me. Those were pains in my <laughs> ass, and that. And so then off with death, and he's dead. Uh, yeah, he he accepted his fate. He became uh, his immortal soul in the sky. Okay, so whatever. now I bet you, death went and leveled up, and then <laughs> that giant up. <laughs> like, he was like, he was I just got my like, juice after back. I got yeah, like after he was feeling good, he's probably like training for a week. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go sneak up on him. <laughs> he's getting it unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah exactly. he's not getting sick. Yeah, I'm taking him out with a rock. I can't believe I tried that with that guy. <laughs>